Why, Yid Army? Since Spurs are a North London team, they have a sizable following in regions north of the Thames, which includes areas with a large Ashkenazi Jewish population who arrived in the north end of London, which had previously been home to considerable immigrant communities, in the early 20th century. It turns out that the other football teams in North London, including Arsenal, weren't all that great at the time. Spurs, a more well-known team for a while, benefited greatly from the immigrant community's support. Even now, approximately half of England's Jewish population resides in North London. Due of this long-standing support from the Jewish community, opponents have tried to disparage Spurs supporters by using the anti-Semitic name Yids. Spurs fans have taken to this name and now frequently use it in the chants of Yid Army, even though the police have arrested Tottenham's own supporters for racist chanting. The Spurs fans are still singing Yid Army today. Spurs are quite underestimated firm in my opinion. My own team Wolverhampton Wanderers never turned up against Spurs for some reason, especially in the 70s. It wasn't a place like West Ham, Everton, Man City or Liverpool, where if you got caught out, you might actually die, but it was intimidating. And away from White Hart Lane they could be thoroughly unpleasant. They are rated at number 9 in the book, 21 Toughest Hooligan Firms of All Time, by renowned hooligan expert Paul Gratis. Link in the description. Some of their well-known incidents include. 1972 Spurs v Man United. Lots of trouble before, during and after this match as Man United's Red Army invade White Hart Lane. Man United take the Spurs end, which leads to revenge tactics from the Spurs hooligans. Couple of pitch invasions and serious disorder throughout the day. Arsenal v Spurs 1975-82. Spurs took Arsenal's home end, the North Bank every year from 75 to 82. Then in 82 Arsenal fought back and removed Spurs from their North Bank, which seemed to be the turning point for Arsenal's firm also, who never gave in to Spurs again. Nineteen seventy four Feyenoord v Spurs, Rotterdam, UEFA Cup, final. Spurs fans rioting in Rotterdam before and during the nineteen seventy four UEFA Cup final against Feyenoord. As a result, two hundred people were hurt, six seriously, and Tottenham was barred from playing in White Hart Lane for two European matches. My sources tell me Feyenoord fans used knives and axes indiscriminately. Nineteen seventy five Spurs v Chelsea, relegation decider. Spurs fans maintain they sorted Chelsea out during this torrid affair, but one thing's for sure, there was mass fighting both on and off the pitch as this video clearly shows. Nineteen seventy six Spurs v Man United. Trouble in the East Stand and on the shelf with United and Spurs fans battling it out. My sources tell me Spurs had the upper hand that day in revenge for the seventy two invasion from the Red Army. 1978 Stoke v Spurs. Both clubs had been relegated from the old Division 1 into Division 2, now the Championship. Both sets of fans invaded the pitch and began to battle, the game commenced after the pitch had been cleared, but large groups of supporters carried the battle on outside the Victoria ground after the match. 1978 Sunderland v Spurs. Spurs fans got into the Sunderland Roker end, but sheer weight of numbers soon had them on the back foot, and they have to retreat onto the pitch and are escorted into the away end. Lots of trouble throughout the day from a massive Spurs turnout. 1993 Man City v Spurs, FA Cup 6th round. Pitch invasions, fighting on the terraces, riots in the surrounding streets. From reports it seems like Spurs held the upper hand but obviously can never be sure. Man City fans can be seen invading the pitch. 1993 Spurs v Chelsea this pub brawl sees a police operation arrest seven Spurs fans giving up to five years jail sentences.
Spurs fans are in the pub when Chelsea arrive. They storm out of the pub hurling snooker balls and other weapons at the Chelsea hooligans. Two thousand and seven Arsenal v Spurs. Dante Hawkins is a MMA fighter and former Spurs hooligan. He recalls a cup match against Arsenal in 2007 where 30 Arsenal burst into a pub he was in with other Spurs hoolies. He said, my personal best London derby one was against Arsenal and was a cup game in 2007. We couldn't get in the ground so a handful of us watched it in one of their pubs called the Nelson. Halfway through they hit the pub. They got ironed badly. One was hurt quite bad with a barstool around the head a few times. There was a lot of claret on the floor it was a proper little ruck but one not really heard of much. 2007 Luton Town v Wolves Dante also tells of a fearsome fight between a Spurs, Luton combo and visiting Wolves fans in a pre-arranged fight. Dante said of the battle, we had a row with Wolves in a small town one year, I don't know if unstuck is the right term cause we were giving it to them for a lot of the row. At the end numbers started to show on their side and they edged it at the end for me. It was proper fight for 10 minutes no old Bill. I and the top youth bod Denny locked horns with each other and from that, we became lifelong friends afterwards. I would say they edged it but we had a very young lot and 100% made a proper account of ourselves. 2022 Rangers v Spurs, pre-season friendly. Major trouble at this game with five men arrested for rioting. Police were attacked before and after the game, mainly for trying to stop rival hooligan firms from attacking each other took over two hours to quell the violence. There have been many more incidents but I have concentrated on the well-known ones, as we would have been here for days. The Yid army are still active so keep an eye out for them. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to help our channel grow.